Hello, this is Elena with Journal Art Pages. Today I would like to share with you my way of cleaning a watercolor palette. Have you ever had a problem with your palette when the water is beating up on it and it's almost impossible to see the color? It happens not only with the new palettes. I have an old palette with exactly the same issue. There is a really simple solution. Well, at least the one I found that worked for me. So here's my brand new tin palette. And on the left, I'm applying some paint with a brush and then add in a second color. But it's hard to see the mixture I'm making because the paint sort of keeps pulling together. I'm going to use um, Vim, the cream cleanser. It's uh, a kitchen bathroom cleaner and works very well on removing residues and uh, stubborn film on a variety of surfaces. This particular Vim I purchased uh, from my uh, local dollar store. I'm sure similar cream, cream cleaning products might, might work just as well. So here I am uh, dispersing a small amount of Vim on the right side of my palette so we can compare the areas later. I found it's best not to wet the area first. Just use a dry kitchen towel and uh, start gently rubbing it on the surface. Vim has a mild abrasion in its formulation, but it is not enough to create uh, scratches or damage my palate. So after removing the cleaner with a uh, wet paper towel, I'm going for a second round of testing. And you can see on the left, the effect is still the same. However, on the right, the paint spreads very well and most importantly stays that way. Again, like before, I'm adding a second color and this time you can clearly see that I'm mixing a beautiful purple violet. So here we are, just need to clean the rest of my palette and uh, I will be ready for um, mixing my paint and actually go ahead and paint. So uh, now I'm going to um, use the same exact method on my old tin palette which always actually had the problem of beating paint and water on it. So I'm going to um, browse through this really quickly because it's exactly the same process. Again, on the left is the area where I didn't use anything, and on the right is where I applied the cream cleaner. So <clears throat> now um, I'm, do, I'm going to do the same experiment on the plastic palette. I have a Koi palette by Sakura and White Knights palette by St. Petersburg. Both bead the water. And I'm going to use um, my White Knights palette for this cleaning demonstration. So the areas on the bottom of the palette um, be the most, um, the second bottom row. The top was used a little bit more often, maybe that kind of helped, but it still, it still beats the paint no matter how often you use it. So I'm going through the same exact process and uh, the only difference right now I'm using my plastic palette. So once again, Vim worked really well for me considering that I did try a few other products like white glue, toothpaste, and alcohol. And uh, Vim seems to be the one that quickly and easily removed the coating that made my palette bead. So don't get rid of your palettes just yet. Try this out. I hope it'll help you out. And if you like the video, please click subscribe and uh, that would really help me out. 
Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye now.